Hello everyone, I'm KB Kwan from TasteAsianFood.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to prepare Chinese pepper steak. As you know, pepper steak is not the staple food of the Chinese. However, there are so many Chinese are now living in different countries and they have adopted the local food culture. Many of them still prefer their own version of steak sauce. So today, I want to show you how to prepare a Chinese steak sauce with some Japanese influence. It is prepared with garlic, ginger, scallion, and seasoned with soy sauce and wine. Let's take a look how to do it. You can get the recipe in the description right below the video and more information by following the link to the blog post. Remove the steak from the refrigerator. Leave it at room temperature for about 20 minutes. You can use a kitchen thermometer to check whether it is still chilling cold at the middle. If it is no longer chilling cold, it is nearly back to the room temperature is now ready to use. If the surface of the steak is too wet, you can use a kitchen towel to pat it dry before use. Trim off some excess fat and of course leave some for grilling. Apply some oil on both sides of the steak. Season the steak with salt and pepper generously on both sides. Press lightly the surface so that the salt and pepper will firmly adhere to the surface. Since I'm living in a city and I do not have the luxury to have an outdoor grill, so today I'm using a grill pan instead and I hope it will turn out as good as the outdoor grill. Put some oil on the surface of the grill pan. Heat up the pan, put your palm on top of the grill pan a few centimeters away until you really feel the heat and until you can really see it start smoking. Then, transfer your steak to the grill pan. Grill for about two minutes. After that, turn the steak 90 degrees and continue grilling for another 2 minutes. After that, use a tongue to turn it over and continue grilling to the doneness that you want. You can reduce the heat a little by now so that it will not overcook. It will take roughly for another four minutes to reach medium. Also take the opportunity to grill the side of the steak. The steak is done when it reaches the desired temperature. In this case, it's about 130 degrees to 135, which is medium. Remove immediately. Let it rest for 5 minutes before cutting. You may want to cover it loosely with an aluminum foil. Now we move on to prepare the sauce. Bash a few cloves of garlic. And costly chop. Peel some ginger. Cut it into small pieces. Bash it. Costly chop too. Next, the scallion. Divide the white section and the green section into two. 
constantly chop the white section. And reserve the green section to garnish. Melt the butter in the saucepan. Add the scallion, ginger, and garlic. Saute until aromatic. Once it turns aromatic, add the Japanese soy sauce. Mirin. and sake. Bring it to a boil. Add a cornstarch slurry bit by bit until the consistency that you want. done. Drizzle with the ginger and garlic sauce. This Asian inspired steak is served along with the braised Chinese mushroom with oyster sauce. The recipe you can find it in our YouTube channel along with some broccoli and carrots. This is how I prepare the Chinese pepper steak. If you like this recipe, please follow this video and give it a try. Until next time, I'll see you again in the next video. My name is KB Kwan. Bye for now.